Sometimes you might have some leftover food or takeout that's given to you in one of these aluminium baking trays. Can you actually microwave this? Can you put your takeout or your leftovers or whatever it is you have in these trays straight in the microwave and turn it on? I've got one with some noodles in there and then I've got an empty one to try later. Is it going to create sparks? What is going to happen? So let's go ahead and put this on. We'll start slow at just 30 seconds and see if anything happens or any sparks start flying. I can't see any sparks or anything at the moment. About 15 seconds in right now. Okay, nothing very exciting happening at all. What we're gonna do is go ahead and check the temperature of this once it comes out. So three, two, one. Let's open this up. And I imagine that this would get quite hot. Oh, no, not really. Okay, it's not as hot as I would have thought. Okay, nothing's really happened to it. It's fine to touch. Noodles obviously still pretty cold. Let's actually go ahead and give this a lot longer. Let's give it three minutes and kind of see if anything happens in that longer amount of time. Obviously we're gonna to have to watch this, make sure that there's no sparks flying or anything like that, but I think we'll be fine. Okay, so honestly that was completely underwhelming. Nothing really happened to it. There was no sparks or anything like that. If we look at the temperature of it, we can see that it's not even above boiling. I've done an experiment where I heated up stainless steel and it got super hot, super quick. So, you know, that didn't get hot. I can touch that fine. It's not hot at all. There was no sparks or anything. Noodles are obviously, ah, noodles are hot to eat. But maybe it's because the noodles were in there and the food was in there that there was no sparks. So let's go ahead and try it with just an empty one and see if we get any sparks or any heat or any action with this. Let's go ahead and we'll start with just one minute and we'll see what happens here. Okay, again, that was completely underwhelming. Nothing really happened there. If we look at the temperature of it, it's still cold. Like, I guess it must be reflecting back the microwaves and it's not heating up. I heard that really thin aluminium gets really hot in the microwave, but maybe because this is a little bit thicker, it's not getting hot. But okay, let's take this to a more extreme now and we're gonna make it into a ball and see if we get some sparks from this. I do imagine we're gonna get something happening from this one. So I'll put it in for 30 seconds and I'll be ready to stop it just in case I need to. Okay, definitely some sparks happening. Not many though, I can hear it. Oh, there we go, we can see a bunch of sparks. That was 30 seconds in there. No smoke or anything like that. Let's check the temperature of it. Can I touch it? Okay, it's still not very hot. Yeah, it's fine to touch. It's a little bit hot. We saw some sparks, but not a lot. So this thick aluminium just seems to be fine when it's just in a tray like this. So when you're just in a baking tray like this, it should probably be fine. Wrapped up in a ball like this, we did see some sparks in there, so that's not ideal. Let's go ahead, we've got some thinner outfoil here. So it's not as thick as this one. This one only saw a few sparks. Maybe it's the thinner tin foil or our foil that is the one that sparks. So let's go ahead, we're gonna pop that in for 30 seconds and let's see if this one sparks. Okay, instantly sparking, yep, okay. That's way more intense. As you can see, huge sparks happening in here. Whoa, 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 okay, all right. 
that's 30 seconds with the aluminium foil um, temperature. Okay, not 60 degrees, a bit hot, but it should cool down pretty quick. So that definitely had more sparks than the other one. We can see this section here has been burnt all the way through, but yeah. So that was a thinner one and that created a lot of sparks. But again, can you put these aluminium trays in there? I would say that yes, you can. I would just watch it and make sure that it's not creating sparks in your microwave. But even this created some sparks, but my microwave is still fine. My microwave is still going strong. So it's not a huge issue. So can you microwave aluminium trays, aluminium containers with your takeout or with your leftovers? I would say go for it. Just make sure you watch it in case sparks do fly and you need to turn it off. But you're probably not gonna have any issues. Go ahead and check out my video now on whether or not you can microwave cardboard because I did actually set some cardboard on fire, which was pretty interesting. And I also did a really bizarre, but one that had a, you know, a really unexpected outcome and that was microwaving lubricant. So check that out as well. Otherwise, until next time, stay cool.